The first thing I do every year for my family's annual food supply um, is collecting maple sap for maple syrup. Um, it's easy to do. It just takes time and I like it because it gets me out of the house early in the season and really gets me going for the year. Um, today I'm going to show you how to actually tap the trees. Um, you only need a few supplies, a bucket to collect the sap, a drill with a drill bit the same size as the tap that you choose to use. Um, I do recommend that you only use the drill bit that you use for tapping trees for tapping trees. Um, you don't want to use a drill bit that you use for any other purpose because you don't want to get anything that you've used that drill for before and drill it into the tree and possibly harm or kill the tree. Um, the other thing that I use is a claw hammer and I use that for um, sometimes scraping the bark off of the tree for a clean drill hole and also for pounding the tap into lightly into the tree um, where I've drilled my hole tap for the tap. Now you want to have a tree um, that's at least 10 inches in diameter. Um, 10 inches in diameter you can put one tap in. A much larger tree you can put several taps in. Um, but I generally try to stick to one to two taps per tree because you don't want to take away too much nutrient away from the tree. To do the actual tapping, um, you go off of the base about three feet up, find yourself a nice flat spot um, that doesn't have a knot anywhere directly above or below it. Um, you want to take your drill bit and place it on the tree. Um, this doesn't need to have any bark removed right here because it's relatively smooth. Um, you place it against the tree and then angle upward um, slightly so that your tap is angled down when you put it into the tree. Go in about an inch to an inch and a quarter, just as straight and true as you can, and then back it out again. You want to blow the extra stuff out of the hole. And then just kind of clean it out a little bit. And then you take a clean tap, insert it with the spout like this into your tree, and just slightly tap it into place. Wiggle it a little bit. You don't want to go too tight and seal it completely, but you don't want to go too loose where it's going to come out either. Hang your bucket. There are fancier ways to do it, but, and then you collect your sap every day and boil it down.